chained up book in a long abandoned temple. Ooh, temptation, old friend. We meet again. <laughs> I, uh, where's that chained up book that you saw, my dude? Yeah, I was gonna say, this does look very long abandoned. And this is just a, a chasm. We have a battle axe. That's pretty good. Another soul coin. And a ring mail armor, which is heavy. And I think Lazel might want. Action, not reaction. She does not want that. She has 13 dexterity, so, well. Actually, her m current armor is medium on a f third, uh, 15 armor class. So, Let's move. this is 14 with no action bonus from dexterity. It's terrible. Terrible armor. Absolutely awful. Oh, there it is. The Book of Dead Gods. I'll give it a shot. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Hmm. I'm gonna search for an arcane rune to sabotage with my arcana. Can we get a little bit of guidance? Thank you. Very bad. I have two inspiration, apparently. I'm gonna continue. The tome does not take kindly to your tempering. A feeling like pins and needles lingers under your skin, pricking and prodding. That's just numb. It's fine. Let's smash the lock open. And that is the same difficulty. We do have guidance. Let's go. Nope. That's really poor. I'm gonna try again. There we go. Now we're talking. Whew. Using my inspiration to open a book, eh? Who needs Arcana when you just have a strong fist? As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Wasn't it of, of uh, gods and something? That's a, it's easy. I say, but I fail. You know what, I'm gonna re-roll. This is unfair. Succeed! My god, by one, uh, by two, actually. Gods. These are the names of gods, once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. The book d wait, recorded by the book? Does the book write itself? I got inspiration from that. Or record it on this book. Or in this book. Because that seems... We all get inspiration. Very nice. Um, the ray... Oh, that's what we got. That's the page that got out. Is the, the, the ray of enfeeblement spell. Or scroll. And there is the book of dead gods. The name of dead gods. That's what it is. Ah, there we go. Most of them unfamiliar and unpronounceable, mostly because you can't read them. So, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But I think, you know, even Gods May Die is sort of like the last sentence in that other book. So it makes, makes sense that they would be recorded somewhere in here. Ah, well, I don't know. Maybe people's names aren't recorded here, so... You know, why would God's names be recorded? This is very pretty. All the game, the whole, the entire game is very pretty. But that is very pretty, and it goes somewhere. There was uh, the button over here, though, so I want to check that out. Was there another button in here? You guys, what are you doing? Getting yourselves hurt? Are you children that I need to look after? And also, yeah, this is gerbil or jurgle or whatever. Oh, it's like a, it's got a pen. 
Yeah, it's like a recorder, sort of. Sort of thing. Or, I know, a historian, I should say. Not a recorder, as in a, a flute. Let's see what this button does. Oh, no. It does bad. Pals. Something just woke up down here. Did we all succeed at a hide check? Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. I think we do. We did. Because uh, I, I, as soon as, as uh, we got out, I pressed shift C, which is uh, party hole hide. But basically what that did is that used up all of our actions because we were all in combat. Except for Lazel. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say except for Lazel because she's not controllable. And she's not. Uh, okay, so this opened a richly adorned sarcophagus holding building. Um, which uh, we are, we're going to be cautious of. We have Shadowheart with her melee. I'm going to put her at the front. She's very cautious. We have Gale at the back. Uh, I don't know what kind of uh, enemies we're up against, apart from it being undead. But I, I, I suppose Gale... Uh, don't click on characters, because that's bad. Uh, I suppose that's how that's going to go. Because we don't have prepare or anything, so... Uh, Shield of Faith, bonus action. Should she be the one at the front? Because I suppose... Turn undead... It's just channel divinity. We should do that. And it's not a concentration or anything, so... Shield of Faith. Let's go. That was a bonus action. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's interesting. That's for everybody. Okay. Yeah, we end the turn of everybody. Wait, what? They cast fog on us? But that's good. Taking position. That's actually good. Because they can't see us. But it's obvious we're up against spellcasters. Oh, they make noises. Um, it's not great, but the fog is obviously also gonna make uh, it makes it so that we cannot cannot see them. Yeah, oh right, I was gonna say, well, how, but how how did they attack us if they uh, if we're stealth? I think I might have even asked that out loud. Uh, the reason why they attacked us, even though we're stealth, is because they attack the last known location, uh, which is just the the way it is. So, I'm going to cast Dash, because we don't need to worry too much about positioning here. And we're just going to bring Shadowheart in here, and then we are going to fight on this stroke, because it's only five of them. We have Turn Undead, which is super powerful, and they also don't know where we are. On my way. Uh, and I think... Can you turn this direction? I don't know. Oh, man. This is kind of spooky. Not gonna lie. Let's see what they do. What's that guy do? Concentration fog. He's the one that's holding the fog. Wait, why are they there? This is weird. What, are you, what is that? They don't attack? They don't attack. All right. And because it's a concentration spell, Still breathing. it lasts Still forever. Breathing. That's a problem. Another step forward. That's a considerable problem, because I don't think I have line of sight. Oh, it's that guy. I do have line of sight. Wait, you see through the fog? Oh no. 
Oh no, that's... I don't like that. But either way, um... Concentration check incoming. Seven damage. Concentration broken, I think I saw. Uh, and we bail. Can I go over there? Yes, I can. And I don't think I have any bonus actions here that allow us to... To do much. I'm just gonna stay over here. Battle of wits. And you're gonna stay where you are. Mage armor might be a good thing to, to do because it's just it's a good spell to have. It's always cast on self anyway, so let's just go cast mage armor. You're stealthed. You're not stealth. Did you lose stealth? Okay. I risk AoE attacks. A miss. Lazel got a ray of frost to the face. That was a miss. Okay. But that was a miss by the guy. Interesting. So I can definitely kill this guy. Ooh, maybe I should use rush attacks and whatnot. I don't know. Nah, that's not good. Uh, we're gonna kill this guy and move back. <laughs> miss! That's pretty bad. Action surge. For sure, once per short rest. I'll do that. Succeed. The reason why I do this is because it allows me to reposition properly. And I'll get fireballed in the face. Because these guys do seem like they're the kind of people that cast fireball in their after death. Hmm. It's only four of them. This is looking pretty good for a, a turn undead. This is looking pretty good for a turn. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, target is too close, but I'm not engaged. So I'm just going to move back a little. Wait a minute. 41 health? Freaking hell. Hunter's Mark or Hunter's Quarry. All that. Uh, this is caused gaping wounds. I imagine gaping wounds, they're immune to it? Undead, in, yeah, cons yeah, undead can't, can't take that. So I'm just gonna attack normally. 65. They're threatened, and it's still 65%. Okay, um, oh, we're, now we're all at the same time. This is great, this, is al this allows us good things. Because, who casts, is it you? Yeah, it is, right? The Guiding Bolt. Target is too close. It is her that cast this, but it's, yeah. So, the turn undead. Pray to turn all undead that you can see. 35%? That's kind of sucky. We could do a, an invoke duplicity. That's just channel divinity. I don't know. I don't remember how it works. Because I kind of want to put it on, on the other side. This is a bonus action, the pommel strike. Because it dazes them. And I'm wondering if that's not a good thing to do. Let's go. Immune to dazed. It did damage, though. It is immune to dazed. Well, uh, we're just gonna attack normally, I think. Still on my feet. Let's go. 65. Hey, damage. Stay where you are. Talk to me. You... It's not very good damage. I think the disengage is an action, so it's... Yeah. One can't always be I will... Possibly Witch's Bolt. How much damage? Yeah. Not a couple of Witch's Bolt. Uh, we could... Oh, no. They're probably immune to sleep. The creatures are. 65. That's not very good. I'm just gonna do fire damage. It's probably safer. Yeah. And you are... You can do Sacred Flame. It's a dexterity save. Oh, it tells you right away what... Yeah, it's not an attack, but it tells you the percentage. So let's do that. It's saved. Fine with me. And then you attack normally. 55. Fine with me as well. 
and then there will be more of them here to turn. Critical miss! Okay, we're all blinded. That's a problem, because I won't be able to turn them. But it is good that they're moving. I don't actually know what blind does, because the enemy is also blind. Critical hit on Shadow Heart. Uh, wait, what? You can attack. Target is to close slash blinded. No, target is blinded, or am I blind? Because I'm, I'm blinded, right? Yeah. But is it possible to become unblind? Yes, it is. I don't think that uh, that fall cloud is good for them. Ready. Yeah, you are. Should you cast cure you wounds on you? Well, actually, I don't know. That was a terrible attack. As in devastating attack. Fifty-five. Uh, I, I think Gale. How much health do you have? Five. If I roll nice with a firebolt. Two. And I didn't roll nice with a firebolt. But you have an offhand. Okay, that's pretty good. And then you are going to need to be engaged. So I'm just going to be here. Uh, you don't have an offhand? Like a bonus action? Yeah, push. Yeah, okay. You're, you stay there. Can't afford to let up. And Shadow Heart casts Cure Wounds on herself as a action, because it's a spell. I'm going to move her over there. And she's not blinded anymore. She's just going to stay there. Oh, did she lose her... Uh... She did lose her um, protection. And she's a big bummer. So you're going to stay back there. Destroyer. I should have cast as well the Hunter's Mark, but that's fine. I will ascend. And then you are done. It's fine because we can we can cast it now. So we're all blinded. These guys just keep casting fog on us. Ray of Frosts on Lazel. And another Ray of Frost on Lazel. That's pretty shabby. Uh, can't reach 95. Even though I'm blinded, it's 95%. Wow, that's brutal. So, Hunter's Mark. Let's reapply. There. Target is out of sight. That's kind of a bummer. It's a terrible, terrible bummer. Hmm. So, if I press shift, yeah, I don't know. I'll just attack normally? And I actually did 13 damage. So that's a kill, and it breaks breaks the thing. Let's see. You can cast... Oh, this is a spell slot. The, the, the Shield of Faith. Hmm. Can you heal her? The answer is likely yes. And it does work, even though she's in the fog and blinded. Yep, that's the hope. Swift and lethal. Fight. Let's go. Okay, you end your turn. Rough tempest. You might not end your turn. You might actually go into stealth. Uh, let's see. No, I don't know. Yeah, you'd be able to to attack from here. With glee. Hopefully, there's no super Ugh. super scribe again. You didn't cast. Oh, you don't... Oh, that's weird. So the game doesn't actually allow you to plan your route like it would normally. Oh, that's weird as well. Who's holding... No, you're holding the thing. Okay. Victory awaits. Hmm. Victory does await, but we're going to need to... It's gonna need to wait a little longer. What now? Because I want this guy to be in range of me. What in the world? Never a dull moment. At the ready. What in the world? Because I need to shoot the guy that's creating the fog. Actually, do I? I do. Yeah, I don't know.
I don't know. Let's risk it. Let's mess around a little. By basically seeing if they can attack me through the fog. Concentration broken. On Hunter's Mark. The answer is yes. They can attack me through the fog. But my problem is... Their own concentration. So you're the one. They succeeded concentration check. Okay. Victory That's a problem. Because I can't reach them. Unless a rush attack allows me to? No, it does not. Yeah, we're going to need to dash. And get in there. Uh, that was That's actually a tricky position. Because they, 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 it's to their advantage. So much for peace. Where they are. Yeah, you're just going to stay there for a little while. And you're going to dash. Because uh, I'm dashing because I want them to move. To have to move, so we do attacks of opportunity. Force, but to keep going. Uh, you have a flourish? Oh no, I have a flourish. I'm just gonna move out of the way. It might actually block Gale. What fools it does, of course it does. Be. Don't get too close. It's fine. Don't don't complain. Push my luck again. Let's see. Good. Quite a lot of damage. And they cast fog. Okay. Whew. Wow. Time to press ahead. Let's end this. There I go, clicking on characters to select them. Taste my fury. They didn't want to surrender their valuables, even after death. I fools. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. I didn't realize... What was that noise? Mm. I didn't realize it was for the bubbles. That was me saving. Can't slow down. They have more stuff. Curiously enough, they didn't have that stuff when I looted them. Hmm. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. A chest here with swamp green dye? Oh. Yeah, and the amulet of lost voices. The dead hold no secrets from Jurgle's scriveners of doom. Oh, it grants speak with dead. Level 3, like a necromancy spell. Wait a minute. Does it actually grant that, or does it unlock that? Right there. Speak with dead. Okay. Let's put it over there. I will use it for the moment. We don't need these scrolls. Ooh, maybe I should use it right now. Although, maybe we're going to need to use it when we open the sarcophagus and a lich comes out. Because, you know, this Baldur's Gate. There's liches everywhere every time you open a sarcophagus. Although, I don't actually know how Speak With Dead works. Grants a semblance of life to a humanoid corpse, allowing... Oh, maybe I should talk to the, the super uh, bad... Is it this one? The Entombed Warrior? Yeah, yeah, it is. Can target undead. Wait, what? Up to five questions. Skeletons and creatures killed with acid, fire, lightning, necrotic, or radiant damage no longer have a mouth and can't be made to talk using this spell and doesn't work on undead. So it's speak with dead, not speak with undead. Okay, I got you. I got you. That's very cool. Okay, let's see what this is. Nope. It's a lich. I told you. It's Baldur's Gate. His eyes make noise. That's the, that's how you know it's a lich. So he has spoken. And so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. 
What is the worth of a single mortal's life? The worth of a single mortal's life. What is the theme of the of the question? That's what I'm asking. That's something Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 were, ne were never very preoccupied with. That's quite the question. What's the reason for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? Life's only value is as currency. That doesn't change the question. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. Is Each life is of infinite value. And merit sacrificing everything for that's 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 a very that's interesting because uh, there's there's a certain level of uh, predetermined fate in Dungeons and Dragons. Not to say that people can't have philosophies that kind of contradict that predetermined fate, but I think it I think the gods know what's going to happen. I think like time flows weirdly in the planes where people can see in the future so like if you know what has happened to a person in their life you can kind of judge the value of their life better than you don't than if you don't know so you're sort of skewing the question this or or this answer over here is of infinite value and ma merits sacrificing everything for it skews the question towards a single mortal life as is you know a, an existing living creature right now a mortal living creature right uh, and i think mortal here might not just mean mortal but might mean like person rather than you know an animal because an animal is also a mortal life uh but it's an interesting question in that regard because you can just sort of skew it towards it's it's a person that is alive right now or the value of a life as in the life of a person in their in the plenitude of their lifetime and then you can ask what is the value of that life so it's if it's really like the the way you answer, and I, I think the op the options here are made so that you can sort of imply different meanings to the question. I don't know if you like no life is worth more than other. We are all equal. Is there an option? What I'm asking here is: is there an option here that can uh, allow me to deduce that this question also implies the value of people who are who of lives who are already passed? Let's find out. Let me read the options. The person's on the person's deeds. That kind of hints at that a little bit, but not really, because you can also say that a person who has a lot of good deeds, is, has their life is worth more than a person who doesn't, which would mean that a, an old good person is more worthwhile than a newborn baby, or their life is more wor uh, has more worth. Which is... You know, potentially correct, depending on the circumstance, I suppose, and the and priorities and things. So life is infinite value. The only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal. Some mortal lives much longer than others. I can't compare them. Yeah, it's unfortunate. All the answers assume that the question is of a living mortal. And I think also of an animal. So some mortals live much longer than others. I can't compare them. It is mortality. Just the same. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. When I die? Or, or right here. Oh no, we're not hiding from Withers. Withers, don't don't go. I want to talk to you again. Withers, come back. No. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again. Soon. 
You seem very certain of that. How? The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. That's what I was talking about. It's the mechanics of fate. Fate, not faith. Also, uh, Shadowheart leveled up? Shadowheart, what have you been doing? Leveling up in my absence. That is very rude. Very inconsiderate of you. We have another soul coin over here. We just have soul coins for days. Scroll of... Wait. Strain, yeah, I don't know what that is. Scroll of Ice Knife. I like that. It's it's nice. Put it away. Um, anyway, I think we're leveling Shadowheart up. I'm okay with that. Why exactly... Why did she level up and we didn't? I thought all classes had the same level up requirements. But she's definitely level three. Her health increased the two class features that we haven't selected. No, no. Two new spell slots, one level one and one level two. Uh, we also have spells over here that we can prepare and we shall. Shelt? Yeah, so we have, uh, I think we only need to worry about level two spells. I'm gonna go with prayer of healing, potentially. Let's go with that. Because it, it's an AoE heal. Very good. Wonder if the gods are watching me. How long has it been? He's just looking at the sun. Let's go. Down through here. I'll save. Just in case. Doesn't go anywhere though. We're not from there. There's something here. Oh, it's a lever. I thought it was like a sword. And a ladder. The ladder takes us. Oh, I know where we are. To that um, hatch. That we saw. Alright, moving back. We have the other door. No, we don't. No, we don't have the other door. That's it. Still alive. So that's progress. And here we are. Alright. Where are we going next? <laughs>